morning you guys yes I look a little bit crazy but I'm just about to start filming my Zara try on haul which is definitely on the channel by the time you see this <laughs> wow I can't believe I actually put myself on the internet like this anyways I'm trying on this pair of jeans that I got like maybe a month ago that I washed and um, have just been sitting in my closet and I'm trying them on because I wanted them to be let me just show you These are the jeans. They're like the tiktok famous wide leg jeans and you can see they go really long I'm wearing a pair of heels with heels. They're like barely on the floor I wanted them really long because if your jeans are really long it makes your legs look that much longer Love like the material and the look and the color. They're so comfy but What? I think I want to cut them because I've already washed them. My room was clean yesterday, but I filmed a TikTok, so that's why it's all crazy. I'm five foot one and a half, so I am very short. So on, um, I was gonna say normal person. <sighs> My brain is all conjumbled. On a taller person, these would be the perfect length, maybe like to there, so like up to there. Also, because I want to wear them with my platform sandals I got. If you have a pair of jeans that you love but are too long, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it yourself. I have not paid to get my jeans tailored in years. All you're going to need is a tape measure, a white eyeliner, scissors, a razor, which is optional, and some tweezers. You're going to want to make sure you wash them before you do this. That is step number one, key you must wash them before next you're gonna go around with your white eyeliner i like using white eyeliner because it comes off in the wash and you're just gonna go around and mark how much you want to be taking off i'm taking off an inch next lay your ruler out i like following how the pants go so these are very straight sometimes they're curved draw a line connecting all of the dots if you want you can flip it over and do the same thing on the other side but because they're both the same length i'm just going to cut both at the same time i'm going to cut them below the line because i want to fray them to that line you can also always cut more but you can never add back don't worry about it being a perfect line because you are going to fray them and make them look distressed. Once your jeans are cut, try them on to make sure the length is good and now we're gonna start distressing. The first thing I like doing is just shaking them like this. That will cause any of the loose threads to pop out which is exactly what you want next i take my face razor and i kind of go along the seam and just rub it like this and that causes a very frayed look then you're going to want to go through grab a piece of thread at the bottom and just pull it and pull it off see like that This is what they look like now. And then once you wash them, they will look even nicer and look exactly like how they originally did. So that's exactly how I do that. You can do that to add rips in your jeans, whatever you want. I'm super happy I actually ended up doing that. They're now like at the perfect length where they're super long, but they're not dragging on the floor. So I just took an inch off. Super happy I did that. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready now to film. Also, they look a little bit tight just cause I washed them, but. They will be perfect, I promise. Just putting on some lip balm. This is the new one from Summer Fridays I just got. It's actually my favorite lip balm, but they changed the packaging finally because their old packaging was terrible. But I wanted to come on here quickly to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Leo, stop punching me. Come here. If you guys don't know what you probably do, BetterHelp is an online counseling platform which connects you with counselors super quickly from the comfort of your own home. I personally was never someone who in the past dealt with anxiety or depression, um, fortunately, but this year I think in the pandemic and everything it was Definitely the first time I experienced anxiety and more recently I've been experiencing anxiety. And if I'm being honest, I just kind of really didn't know who to turn to, who to talk to. So BetterHelp is a great solution if there's something that's interfering with your happiness or you just want to talk with someone from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to worry about leaving your couch. I also just feel more relaxed and comfortable talking to a therapist when I'm in my own house. So basically how it works is if you log on, you fill out this quick questionnaire and then BetterHelp 
will assess your needs and match you with a licensed professional therapist and you can start communicating with them within 48 hours. So this is available worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and communicate with your counselor. No matter what time, where you are, wherever you are, you can communicate with them and they always give you timely responses. And also BetterHelp really focuses on making sure that you really feel connected with your counselor, you're feeling comfortable and they really wanna match you with the right person. So it's super easy and free if you ever wanna change your counselors, if you ever feel like you need to. Also what's really amazing is that they have over 15,000 counselors so their range of expertise is really broad. So no matter what you need, there's a person for you. I just wanna remind you guys that BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is already more affordable than traditional therapy, but if you go to BetterHelp, that is H-E-L-P dot com slash Tony, you can get 10% off your first month. They want you to start living a happier and healthier life um, so you can log on and get connected with a counselor that's right for you. What is it? This is the coconut milk cleanser. And I added a gentle little exfoliant. It's strawberry rhubarb rice powder. This is the peel, the mango stain peel. So it's gonna dissolve any dead skin. The little blackheads on the forehead. And this is hard wax. So it's gonna shrink wrap around the hair gently pull as opposed to like the traditional strip wax yeah okay so we're gonna do some high frequency this is good to do after extractions after waxing it's gonna kill bacteria and reduce redness and inflammation this is basically bringing oxygen to the surface of your skin for tony i'm doing a jasmine and aloe vera jelly mask so it's gonna calm and soothe really good for blackheads it's gonna help kind of finish out the cleanup but also hydrate the skin look at the like stunning flower petals <laughs> wow wow oh my god that's terrifying <laughs> but i am not oh my god i hate that <laughs> Hello, okay, literally just walked in the house and I wanted to sit down and show you guys some new skincare stuff I got today <laughs> because I, my skin has been really, really acting up. I wasn't, I wasn't breaking out so much even though I am kind of breaking out. I feel like that's because I've been working out and not washing my face right away, which I'm gonna get better at. But I always had these like bumps on my forehead. They're, they're not pimples. It just looks bumpy. So I booked a facial with my friend Nikki. It's Nikki's birthday on Tuesday. I took her to get a facial today with me and as part of like her birthday present. So I went to Ellen June because that's where a lot of you guys recommended and I loved it. I've gotten a facial before that wasn't really a facial. It was like kind of just like testing products, but like this is my first real facial that I've ever gotten and it was so good. I got the LA facial, I paid for the facials myself. I bought all the stuff I'm gonna show you myself because I was so impressed with my skin after the facial. So I was like, please tell me what I need to buy. I realized I had to get like a routine for my skin because I was using all different products on my skin. I think it was just confused. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever I was doing was not working. So I wanna show you guys what I got. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's from this brand. Um, Eminence Organic Skincare. First thing I got is a facial recovery oil. I love a good facial oil. All of their products smell so good too because I am 
like a sucker for something that smells good. Why is this so dark? So the next thing I got is a tropical vanilla day cream. It has zinc in it, so it's like a natural SPF, I believe. She used this on my skin today and it made my skin look so glowy. It's really like white because it, there's zinc in it and you only need the smallest amount. So then she said, because my skin was so congested, I need to do like a physical exfoliant. I'm really good with like a chemical exfoliant, but I need to like use an actual exfoliator. So she recommended this one and she used it on me and it felt so good. The Stone Crop Exfoliating Fizzfoliant. Then I got the Lotus Detoxifying Overnight Treatment because she said my skin was really dehydrated. I needed like a more intense night treatment. You guys, I went crazy on this skincare. Like I'm, I know, I went crazy. This is the Lotus Detoxifying Overnight Treatment. After I exfoliate, she said to do a mask. So the clear skin probiotic mask just looks like that. I don't. And then I got the Lime Refresh Tonic and the Magostein Daily Resurfacing Cleanser. I, I'm telling you guys, everything smells so good. So I'll let you guys know like how this stuff actually works, if it's worth it. Like I said, she didn't give this stuff for me. I paid for literally everything today. I spent so much money, but if it keeps my skin clear and it works, I don't have to use proactive and it's organic, I think it's worth it. So then I got a hyaluronic serum, strawberry rhubarb. She said to use this every day because my skin was, she said, very dehydrated. And this was my, the thing I was most excited about. It's an apricot body oil. I tested it on my hands and I swear my hands have never been softer. Oh, it smells. I, like I wanna eat it. I literally wanna eat it. And then I got two candles. So my sister got me this candle from the brand Mala the Brand in this um, scent cereal. And I have had it for so long and I still have some left. It lasts really long. It, I think it, is this soybean candle? So it's a soy candle. I was gonna place an order and I never got around to it, but they had them there. So I smelled them. Buying candles online is a little bit scary because you don't know what it's gonna smell like, right? So I got Fireside. Oh, it smells so good. It doesn't smell like a fire. It doesn't smell like Fireside from Bath and Body Works. It smells like woodsy and, and clean and I had to control myself because I was gonna buy literally everything in that store. You have to go to Ellen Jane if you're in Montreal. It's called Succulent. And I can't even describe this. Like I don't even know. I want a perfume in this scent. So far I'm really impressed with the facial and how my skin feels and like everything. I'll keep you guys updated on my skin and my skin journey. And if it's good, you guys can test it out. I've never heard of this brand. Oh, also, I wanted to give you guys an update. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but I redid my own tape and hair extensions myself. Just because you guys know, like I do everything at home. I do my nails at home. I do literally everything at home. If I can do it at home, I will. So I took out my hair extensions. I've seen them done enough. I watched a YouTube video. I can leave it linked down below, but I literally just followed the YouTube video and I put in my own tape and extensions. I didn't put in as many as like I, let me show you guys. I didn't put in as many as I had before. I kind of wanted to make it look like maybe a little bit more natural. It's so dark in here. I'm sorry. I didn't do my hair today, so don't mind it, but can you see? I also left out like the really blonde pieces because I wanted it a little bit darker. Let me see if I turn towards the light. So this is the color. But yeah, it's just a very chill Sunday. I'm exhausted though. So I think I'm gonna do that and just relax for the rest of the night because I'm so freaking tired. I think in, a t in the past two days, I slept a total of like six hours. It seems like they put all of the ducks for the AC. Notice that. I don't think down here, here they did anything else. But they opened up the stairs to the basement. Windows. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did put windows. Maybe they'll do the rest. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm sorry for how I look. I'm sorry about how I look. I brought my vlogging camera to vlog, but I forgot to put the battery in it um, before I left the house. So, so I couldn't vlog on my way here, but I had to run to the mall to return some things from Zara, which I did. And I ended up buying a ton of stuff. I have like a whole lunch in my car. I swear, 
as I get older, like I pack a whole lunch when I leave the house. I ended up buying a ton of stuff. The bag is so heavy. So I'm gonna show you guys when I get home, like a quick try on haul um, because there was some really good stuff I think you guys would like. And then I also had to go with Nikki's birthday today. So we're going to see her tonight for some cake and I had to go pick up her present. We got her the full day, DAE line i wanted to try it too but they only had one shampoo i was even surprised that they had the shampoo because online it said they didn't and that it was sold out all right i'm gonna head home now i need to eat those new vitamins i got are really upsetting my stomach and they're really making me tired somehow and i also just need to take care of this whole situation because i look like a mess i worked out this morning and ran right to the mall so let's go okay so just got home i'm going to quickly show you guys the stuff that i got um, I went a little bit crazy, especially on dresses. I don't know why I was in like a very dressy mood. So I'm gonna show you guys and put a few outfits together. Normally I would do like a sit down video, but I can't be bothered. I just wanna show you guys cause I'm very excited about what I found. Okay, so both of these are kind of a fail. These shirts are cute. The fit is just kind of weird. And then this top, the zipper is like fully broken. I guess it was broken when I got it. I just didn't see that it was broken. I would have kept the top if it wasn't broke. Very cute. But these shorts, there's just something about it. It's so weird because I got these in a size 36. And they're a little bit snug. But I have size 36 shorts that still fit me so i don't know if they just started making them smaller they're cute but i definitely they're like not my favorite shorts that i own so i think these will both be going back okay this dress is so pretty i don't know i've been so into these like long dresses i just think this is so pretty i actually got this in a size medium and it fits perfectly it ties in the back i obviously did not do it very well i feel like if you're getting married or you just want a really nice simple white dress this is really pretty i need to tie it better because my boobs about to fly out but I really like this one. Okay, this is the next dress. It definitely looked cuter on the hanger than it does on me. I was drawn to it because it has these cutout things. I think it's very cute. I feel like I would like it maybe if it was a tiny little bit shorter. And the material's a little bit odd. So overall, it's like a cute dress. But it's just nothing I would like write home about, you know? Wow, okay, I love this dress. I was gonna get it in black also, and I didn't, and I'm kicking myself in the butt, so I'll probably order it or go pick it up because it is like my perfect dress, especially for my short girls out there. This probably wouldn't work if you were, um, I was gonna say, this probably wouldn't work if you're long, but no, this probably wouldn't work if you were taller because it is really short, like it goes pretty short on me. But look how cute this is. It has like a puffy sleeve, but the perfect amount of a puffy sleeve. Um, um, it has this like really nice detailing here. How cute would this be in like a pastel yellow or a pastel pink? Okay, next in a similar fabric, I got this black dress which is like a tight bodycon dress, but a little bit elevated. It's a black linen material, and I feel like it's like, again, it's pretty short. Okay, and lastly, I got a few things that need to be steamed really bad so they don't look so good. This silk bodysuit, which is so pretty, like beyond stunning. I definitely need to steam it. I got this linen over shirt. I think I'm finally done with my linen, but I just couldn't pass this up because it's the perfect shirt to wear with outfits like this. And then I got these shoes, which are like braided look kind of like this they actually aren't as uncomfortable as they look but that's what i got i don't know why my camera is acting all weird i dropped it and i don't know if it's broken <laughs> i'm so exhausted today you guys like i feel like i need a six hour nap um and then i got these shoes which are like braided looking kind of like this they actually aren't as uncomfortable as they look but that's what i got i don't know why my camera is acting all weird i dropped it and i don't know if it's broken <laughs> But yeah, I think these two are my favorite things. Just like a very simple look. Um, just like a very simple look. I'm so exhausted today, you guys. Like, I feel like I need a six-hour nap. 